Welcome to the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today. Our player of the game, as always, presented by Coca-Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. Here's Mike. Coach, you talk about it, uh, the effort was there, but obviously that just doesn't get you the W. No, you, you have to execute um, the game plan both on offense and defense, and I thought we were very sluggish coming out in the third quarter um, from a defensive standpoint, and there's a correlation that when our shots don't go in, you know, it it leads to lots of breakdowns on the defensive end. And credit to the girls, they battled back and made it interesting, um, a close game in the fourth quarter, but again, execution, details, box outs, when we have layup opportunities, we got to take them. Things, those kind of decisions that are critical in, in late game execution, we we just didn't have it. Now, with that being said, is this a game that you can? Obviously, you have a game coming up. This is the final game of the regular season. Is this a game you can teach from? A lot of teaching moments here that you can use moving forward. Every game is a teaching moment, yeah. um, and for us, it's how to stay locked in and disciplined for 40 minutes. So. Um, Unfortunately, now we're in the part of the season or we're going into the part of the season and if you don't do that, you go home. There is no more next game. So at some point, we got to learn it, you know? For some reason, Coach, I just still think you're a dangerous team. You can put up 23 points, your highest scoring quarter in the first quarter, backed it up with an 18 point and then 17 here in the fourth quarter. The team can score. They can match people up. Maybe defensively on the end, like I said, you've run out of a little bit of gas. We got to do our job. We have a, a team of 14 people, and we were pretty liberal with our subbing, so fatigue is not a thing. Good luck, Coach. Appreciate it. Natalie, come on in. Olivia Martino, our Coca-Cola player of the game. Olivia, obviously a little upset here. Olivia, a career high, 22 points, career high in threes as well. It looked like you guys had it really going on there with a great opening quarter and backed it up with a great second quarter. Yeah, it was tough. <laughs> I thought we had it too. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, obviously defense plays a major role. It's not like we want to trade baskets, you know, entire game. It's more so us being able to score and get the stops. That's what helped us really, you know, seal the deal, I guess. And that team is not a very big team, but they look like they have really everybody they put on the court can score, correct? Yeah, definitely. They're very athletic, too, so. Yeah, and you, but again, for you, when you get in that rhythm for threes, great opportunity for you to carry this into the next game. You hit yeah. six of them tonight. Yeah, God is good. <laughs> I was like, well, please help me hit something. <laughs> but, I mean, just like even just coming back, like this is much needed, honestly. It's definitely like a confidence booster, you know, going into playoffs. So it's a perfect time, honestly. Yeah. So. And as a shooter, that when the first one goes in, it always looks good, right? Exactly. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for a couple minutes. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. Guys, when that first one goes in for a shooter, it always looks good. It's actually like when Gary putts, that first one goes in, I know he's going to have a good day. Back to you. Mike's lying. He's never seen me make the first putt. <laughs> All right, here's John with the highlights. Well, you know, you heard uh, Olivia Martino uh, say that God is good. Well, the good Lord helps those who help themselves. And this young lady puts a lot of time in. Gary, I've been down in the gym more than one or two times when I've seen her just do this over and over and over again. Again, three great passes early on out of the post from Natalie Kukowski. The step back off, the handoff from Michaela Wilson. And I'll tell you what, Lafayette looked as good offensively at times tonight as we have seen them all year long. Uh, and again, Natalie now takes over. She knocks down a three, gets into the act. A little fake handoff here, clever little play. I'm telling you, this team does good things on offense, Gary. As they uh, uh, deepen their roster, uh, they're going to be pretty good. Summer King, uh, you know, from the outside couldn't get it. But Rachel Thompson, here's the three. Watch, shot fake up through Drew Freeland. Every time Colgate needed a big bucket, it seemed like their key player, Rachel Thompson, was there. And uh, there's the uh, inside bucket. This is Tegan Graham, who was at Fuego. We talked about her as a key player early in the game. This is a mid-range jump shot. What a sweet-looking jumper she has, Gary. She can really shoot the ball. You team her up with Haley Greer on the other side. There's Greer knocking down one of her own. I actually missed that one. Oh, how about this one? This was it went right to Tegan Graham. Gary, off the, the ball scored it. A loose ball happens to find Tegan Graham all alone under the basket. And at that point, you had to think that the uh, basketball gods were working against us. You heard a lot of religious... Uh, I do. It is Ash Wednesday. And, uh, yes, it is. I didn't get there, but I... All right, let's wrap up the basketball season for you. The Colgate 77 points on 29 field goals, 9 for 24 from beyond the arc, and 10 for 12 from the free throw line. They were led by four players in double figures. Chandler had 10. King had 10. 
Graham had 20 points and 7 rebounds, and Rachel Thompson had 22 points and 8 rebounds. We still can't tell you who Colgate will be playing as the Loyola-Boston game is still a very close basketball game. It's not close to being over. Uh, Lehigh did win, so uh, they'll either play Lehigh or they will play uh, Boston. And that's yet to be determined. For the Lafayette Leopards, uh, 67 points came on 22 field goals, 9 for 20 from the from the from beyond the arc, and 14 for 17 from the foul line. Some great individual games tonight. Natalie Kukowski, 23 points and 12 rebounds, her 14th double-double of the year. That is her sixth 20-plus ball game of the year, and she will take 749 career points into the tournament when they play uh, this Friday or Saturday, I'm sorry, on Saturday. For Olivia Martino, career high 22 points, career high six for nine from beyond the arc. Lafayette will go take a seven and 22, two and 16 regular season record into the tournament. Colgate will take a 12 and 16, eight and 10 record into the tournament. Before you shut us off or turn the dial, big thank you to John Leone, a big thank you to Mike Joseph, and certainly spend a little time as we've got a montage of the people that put this game together behind the scenes. You've seen enough of us. Here they are. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>